Einstein had a lot of autistic traits, Thomas Edison, a bunch of different people. And then at the other end of the spectrum, you have somebody that remains nonverbal. Maybe they have epilepsy on top of it and uh, have difficulty controlling their movements. So you get this gigantic spectrum. Temple Grandin is one of the most influential thought leaders, inventors, and authors of our time. She's a woman who's turned her pain into purpose, channeling her unique abilities as a person with high-functioning autism into a global movement of advocacy and inclusion. Natalie Bopke joins us now with the story. Natalie. Dawn and Corey, she's been one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People, and HBO even made a movie about her life. Now Temple Grandin has a new focus, helping teenagers on the spectrum. A brain can be more thinking and cognitive, or a brain can be more social emotional. Well, on autism, you get more on the thinking side. Professor Grandin's story begins with her mother, a woman determined to defy the times, providing her daughter with services not readily available. When I was a little kid, I had delayed speech, no speech delayed, four. When I got to be about eight years old, same time when I could not read, she could see that I was really good at drawing and she encouraged me to draw lots of different things, to use different media. Take that thing the kids are obsessed with and build on it. In elementary school, Grandin's teachers ensured she was not bullied, but high school was a different story. She was ousted for an altercation with a fellow student and put in a special school, a move that ultimately put her on a path to greatness. That school allowed her to run its horse barn. When I was a teenager, that's when I was exposed to livestock. One of the things that's just so important is exposure. Grandin is the architect of the guidelines surrounding humane animal slaughter. Her numerous ideas led to inventions and morphed into industry altering standards that were profiled in an HBO movie starring Claire Danes. No, I'm autistic. No, no, I need the sensation of being hugged. No, I've developed a machine that I get into and hugs me and I'm different afterwards. I'm more social. And then there's her invention of the hug machine. An idea that arose on her aunt's ranch after struggling with sensory issues, a common issue for those with autism spectrum disorders. We were driving back from shopping and we stopped by and watched them vaccinate some cattle and they squeeze the cattle in there to hold them for their vaccinations. And I noticed that they just uh, kind of relaxed. So I went and tried it. And then I went and built one for myself and then I made it nicer with padding on it. At the age of 73, with her legacy well established, Professor Grandin is laser focused on one thing, advocating for children in need. Where we're falling down is with the teenagers not learning job skills, not learning life skills. And the other thing we need to do in the schools is put all the hands on things back in music, cooking, sewing, theater, shop, welding, auto mechanics. Because if you, if you have these things in the schools, then these kids get to experience more things that they could turn into a career. I'm concerned that we've got too many smart people just getting shunted into special ed because they don't fit in the their, you know, square peg in the round hole kind of thing. But I worked with those people and a lot of them were brilliant and they're not getting replaced. I want to help kids that are different, you know, just be successful, be everything that they can be. There's different levels of abilities and Let's emphasis on what they can do. Temple Grandin received a doctoral degree in animal science from the University of Illinois in 1989. Don mm. and Corey.